uh, today we will introduce about the, the Marco change, especially the ATC Marco. Now we want to change the Marco, for example, you want to move the Z axis first. First of all, you have to understand the Marco is locked, it's all protected by this NC. So at first you have to switch, switch on the switch on the parameter first. Yes. Okay. The parameter is 3202. 3202 is a bit 4. NE9. This is a nice mean nice sold macros is locked by this one. It's locked by this one. So you have to you have to this one. If luck, you have to open it. If no luck, you no need it. So you must open this one first. Open this one first. Then you can go into here. The programs here. Under the edit mode, edit mode. Then you, this one, the program, all the programs in the CNC memory. This one is for user, for user. So you have input, then you move this one. You move the cursors to here. Yeah, here. Yeah. This one, then you input. Okay, you can find this one's a 9001 marker. Then you input. This moment that you move the cursor, you can change here. You can change here. So, if you use it this way, you cannot modify this marker, even though. If you mark or put it here, user, this one is no use because the 9000 macro is in the other place. So you cannot change here, change here is didn't function. Didn't function. So You can find this one, this is for Marco. But you, you have to refer to the manuals, which Marco is for, for, your, for your use. Here. 6071 is 6. It means M06. So M06 we call the 09001. This this program. We will call this one. We call this one. And this one 09002 M80 M61. M62 is the same. So if you inside the Marco, you can send. This one is all 0901, 0902, 0903. This is a sample. So normally you change here, this one M06, you change. Then you can enter this one program inside for change. But uh, you have this one, MT1, MTB1. MTP1, not user inside. If you use user inside, it's, it's no use.